Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. In my last video, I mentioned that I was going to be buying some more Hunter x Hunter manga, and the reason for that is because on October 10th, the Right Stuff online store is shutting down and merging with the Crunchyroll store, as a result of being bought out, the latter of which I've mentioned before. I got an email last week that because the store is being shut down, they're having a sale of 15% off of all in-stock items by using the promo code THANK YOU. If you like to do some manga or anime shopping, now's a good time to do so, but be warned that a lot of stuff is out of stock likely as a result of this sale. I've seen a lot of volumes of manga being sold out, and I have no clue if they'll be in stock before the sale ends. Lack of stock aside, this is a pretty sad ending to me though. As I mentioned when Crunchyroll bought right stuff, I'm not fond of this acquisition and what it could entail. Going back a few days before the email about the sale, I saw that I missed an email that first announced the closing of the store. Right Stuff claims that this transition won't change much, the main exception being that those who have a GOT anime membership will have their information transferred over automatically, though you can opt out of this. Pre-orders and existing orders are set to still be handled via Right Stuff, which is fine. Basic Right Stuff account holders' information will automatically be transferred to Crunchyroll, but again, you can opt out of this if you want to. My concern, though, is with what happens from here. Items like manga are supposed to be sold on Crunchyroll, but will all items be sold? Additionally, will there be any kind of price change? For most of the items in the Right Stuff store, you can buy them for under MSRP, at least in the US. Of course, you can save more with a GOT anime membership. The price balances itself out once you add in shipping, but if you're making purchases over $50 and I think $200 in Canada, you can make out pretty well as long as you don't mind waiting a week or two for your order. If Crunchyroll doesn't maintain this model, there's not really much of an incentive to use this over any other online retailer. Maybe things will be fine, but when companies are being bought left and right, and changes are being made, it's very reasonable to be skeptical about the future outcome. I have enjoyed shopping from Right Stuff for years. I haven't purchased anything from Crunchyroll before, and honestly, I'll need a good reason to buy something from there after this transition. But that's just what I think. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Will this transition impact how you purchase anime and manga if you bought from Right Stuff previously? Have you or are you planning to buy anything from the closing sale? Let me know. One last thing to mention. I have graciously been invited to join a podcast called the Orange Box Podcast. The first episode is slated to come out later this week and is planned to come out weekly. I'll be joining the Frozen Gamer 87 to talk about the latest in the gaming world. I'll leave a link to the channel in the description, so feel free to check it out. So until next time everyone, I am Zerikhan signing off. Have a good one.